Hello, my name is Mateo Davis, and in my TED Talk, I'm going to be focusing on just the way that one of our uh, amendments was violated. Uh, one right that has been violated, in a way, is the right to live in freedom, especially in today's day and age. Um, social media is prevalent in society and in culture nowadays, and although it has its pros, I believe it also has its cons to it. And I believe the cons outweigh the pros. So to unpack everything, the cons, I believe, well, first, let me set the scene. So nowadays, you know, everybody is facing facing a lot of external pressure. That's a part of life. Life will throw anything at you unexpectedly, and you have to be ready for it, right? And everybody has different areas in their life, different pockets in their life. In each pocket, each area brings a different aspect to their life. And with anything comes pressure, hardships, tribulations, the whole bunch. So I believe that all that external pressure that's added from your different pockets in your life is enough. Um, and I believe social media adds unnecessary pressure because I believe when it comes to viewing Instagram, viewing Snapchat, you see the lives of others and social media is made, is manufactured, is programmed to the way where you see everybody's highlights, everybody's bright moments in life. And I believe, although it's, I have, there's no problem in showing people your, um, how would you say, your bright sides to life. I also believe that the people who are having such a great time in life, who are struggling, when they open the app, whichever app it may be, Snapchat, Instagram, et cetera, YouTube, they're viewing their friends, celebrities, et cetera. It could be anybody on social media. They could be viewing their stories, right, what they're posting. And they could be like, wow, they have such a great life, right? They're, it looks like they're just coasting through life. Everything is just downhill, not downhill, but you know, everything's just a breeze for them. While on the other hand, the viewer who is viewing, you know, certain um, content, they could be, you know, going through a struggle in life, you know, um, and that's just a part of it. Everybody's going through something and that person may not need to see, um, how would you say, a highlight of someone, you know, enjoying their time. There's nothing wrong with it, but that would lead to comparisons, right? And the comparisons could lead to, you know, downgrading your own life, right? Comparing, because it's not right to compare. And I feel like if you com start making comparisons, it's just a matter of it's just a matter of playing a game of chase. And I believe that's not how you should live life. And that's why you can never be free. That's why I feel like that amendment, that right is violated in a way because social media has set it up and society culture has set it up to a way where it's almost impossible to live free. And it's up to you because social media limits people's imaginations and it sort of traps people in a box. And the perceptions of others could lead to you being trapped. So therefore, I believe that social media um, shouldn't completely be abolished, but it should be managed to the point where people are able to realize their true gift and to give it to the world and to make it a better place. And yeah, thank you.